I am pleased to accept the signed honor codes from you. As a member of the faculty and their dean, I serve in this ceremony as the representative of the academic integrity that stands as a central ideal of Hamilton College. Though it is ceremonial, this rite is not an empty gesture. It marks with meaning your entrance into a community of trust. You enter into your Hamilton College education so that you may know yourself, be who you are, and find your future. Those are worthy aims, aims so important to us that we call them promises. Now it may appear that the college is promising to deliver those results to you as an individual, but the phrasing is important. We won't tell you who you are or sign you up for any specific outcome. Those promises are actually tasks that you will undertake over the next four years. Along the way, the faculty will ask many things of you, and the very first one was this pledge of your honesty. By pledging your word of honor with your signature, you have joined a community of trust. I receive these cards on behalf of a faculty who are guided by similar professional codes of conduct in their teaching and in their scholarly research and creative lives. The most visible sign of our commitment to academic integrity are citation styles, those systems called Chicago style, APA, MLA style, and there are many others. You will almost certainly learn to use more than one of these styles with facility, and pro tip, ask your faculty member which citation style to use if it isn't specified in a writing assignment. Some subjects come with very specific expectations for documentation of sources, and all subjects taught here require original work. You won't plagiarize. Using citation properly not only announces to your reader, behold this honest work, but it does something more generous, something that extends beyond a badge of honor worn by an individual of integrity. Citation shows the next reader where to find what you found. It is a form of sharing, the fundamental virtue of living in a community. For academic integrity means not only documenting your sources, it also means opening yourself up to others' different interpretations of those sources. It says, I am willing to hear your alternative view on the matter. I am willing to show you why I have come to my conclusions, and if you can test them based on my evidence, I will thank you when you show me your evidence. In a community of integrity, it does not harm our own points of view and positions to entertain alternatives. We know that we do not make specious claims ourselves, and we believe that others adhere to the same high standard. Of course, we warn each other when fake news is contaminating the well of truth. There are statements that we read or hear out only to recognize or denounce for their malicious intentions. But in the regular give and take of discussion, exploration, interpretation of results, of discovery, our individual pledges of integrity draw a proud line around our boundaries. Hamilton College is an honest place. They also mark out a zone where we can create common ground. Out of differences come understanding, not capitulation to a prefab set of right answers. Your pledge of academic integrity marks your commitment to a community where our distinctions and differences, our identities and perspectives become our shared resources. Joining this community symbolically located on a hill, placed here in the first generation of our nation's founding, reminds us that Americans have frequently seen themselves as exceptional and separate bound together by oaths and pledges that exclude a world that disagrees with them. This is not our way. Many people with different messages will visit us here. Indeed, some of you may even be reading what they are tweeting, even as I speak. We are part of the world, and there's no barring the door that will work for us. Indeed, when Hamilton College was young, the new nation had just committed itself to a free press, to free speech, and to freedom of assembly. The founders placed their trust in arguments and demonstrations. They gave up the ideas of separatism and religious tests that had drawn so many of their great-grandparents to this continent. 
American democracy was far from perfect then, and it is far from perfect now. But it is constructed to sustain itself through the arguments of the people. As a result of those disputes, today we draw the lines of community much more inclusively than the founders could have imagined as we attempt to understand and repair the damage of racism and sexism and other structural and institutional systems of exclusion. A few days ago, I read the encouraging words of a Hamilton College student on a national news website. Nicole Taylor, class of 2019, reports that today's college students are energized by the opportunity to vote. This is excellent news and not the first sign that your cohort may indeed be a great change-making generation. In response to murderous violence in your schools, you have shown us the face of a defiant young citizenry. And you look different. I don't mean the shaved heads and the piercings. You look smart and brave and exasperated. You are inspiring. We are counting on you not to lose heart. Disregard the hateful messages that are intended to demoralize you, or better yet, point out their flaws and failings. If you are a citizen of the United States 18 years or older, the very best way to avoid being disenfranchised is to exercise your franchise and cast a vote. But there are many people in this entering class who are citizens of other countries, and some who have come to this country in the hope of a better life. At Hamilton College, all are invited to participate in argument and contestation, in the testing of alternatives in conversation and experiment that are the warp and weft of our democracy. We have come a long way from the humble cards vouching for your intention to do original and honest work, your individual promises. You are already internalizing a sense of personal integrity that will be a permanent aspect of your character. By accepting these cards from you, I accept you into a community where together we will challenge one another, care about one another, and as the foundation for the work we do together, hold one another to the high standards of mutual trust. Thank you.